This Learjet makes its home at the Vienna campus of the Pittsburgh Institute of Aeronautics. The students can be um, doing different things with the engine on this. The plane was donated by NASA. In fact, all of the aircraft in this hangar were acquired through donations, says admissions rep Lori Fine. One of the areas where they did research on this was cell phone usage in planes. PIA has been ranked as the number 11 trade school in the country by Forbes magazine. Our students go to a number of different careers, but we're currently placing about 96% of our students in the field of aviation. Joe DeRamo is director of the Vienna campus. He says students have graduated PIA with as many as five job offers in recent years. That's because positions for aircraft mechanics are in high demand, with an estimated 30,000 job openings by 2024. It's a 1,900-hour program. Uh, it takes approximately 16 months. Um, the program is, covers three main areas, uh, general aviation, power plant, and uh, airframe. Uh, the students leave here with an A&P certification uh, to become an aircraft mechanic. So our students, um, when they leave here and when they graduate, are, uh, the biggest problem they tend to have is really debating over which job offer they're going to take. John Ray is one of those students. He's currently in his third semester and has a background in aviation. When I was in the Army, that's what I did. I worked on helicopters, so I have an aviation background. And in the civilian side, you need your airframe and power plant license. So regardless of my experience, I still need to get the license. And I'm glad I did because... Uh, I feel like I've learned a lot more doing so than just basing my experience off the military. But experience isn't necessary when it comes to PIA. Many of our students come to us and said, I, I've never changed the oil in my car. I, I wasn't what they would call a gearhead. I wasn't a person who liked working on engines, uh, but I have some troubleshooting skills. I have logic, you know. Uh, so if you like to work with your hands and you have some troubleshooting and problem solving skills, um, that's the kind of student we're after. Throughout the 16 months, they will take a number of different courses, uh, some in general aviation, uh, things like physics and the theory of flight uh, through electronics and avionics uh, that deal with uh, electrical components of an aircraft. Um, they also will take things uh, such as uh, engines, turbine engines, uh, and then they will also uh, be involved with things that are uh, dealing with the structure of the aircraft, uh, such as the airframe, uh, wings, wing edges. But these are uh, work. These are workstations the students do work on. It's a lot of troubleshooting. They learn blueprints, schematics. These actually work, and they have different assignments. A unique part of our program is it's about 50-50. So they spend about half their time in the classroom. Uh, and for every minute they're in the classroom, they will be spending an equal amount of time in the shop. Uh, where they're actually getting their hands on not only aircraft, working aircraft, uh, but also components of the aircraft to make sure that they're able to um, you know, uh, r fix and repair, uh, assemble, disassemble, uh, all aspects of an aircraft. William Ogle is one of six instructors here that have worked in the aviation industry. He says research is a big part of the job. Procedures are all written by engineers and uh, they have to learn to read these technical manuals and uh, pull information from them, being able to look up information on a particular model make aircraft. It's important that they, they're uh, skilled in this area also. We supply them with the maintenance manual so you do it everything according to FAA standards, having a reference, doing it step by step. Lee Grable is a third semester instructor. Currently, his students are working on reciprocating engines and propeller systems. Pretty much everything you learn, you represent in the industry. Uh, well, reciprocating engines, I mean, they have cylinders. They work just like your car. Whereas uh, turbine engines, they're a lot more involved uh, with, as far as they matter more with their RPMs, things like that. Uh, they're more of your uh, bigger engines on 747s, commercial aircraft. First, they have to learn how the system works when there's no trouble. Mm -hmm. The only way to troubleshoot it is to know how it works correctly. They learn that first. Then they can identify problems and uh, go through a systematic uh, uh, choices to uh, make the repair, diagnose the problem. One of the best things with this industry is very, uh, very rewarding immediate gratification. You disassemble, you reassemble, and you see it function, work, operating. And it's, uh, it's a lot of, it just feels good that you did this. The neat thing about being an AMP mechanic is, I mean, we're, we have such so many different facets to aviation. We, we learn blueprint reading electronics, electrical, welding, sheet metal, hydraulics. Uh, man, we, there are so many different avenues that if some, when somebody's interested in mechanical things, 
we can go so many different directions. Part of it's a cool factor, right? I mean, it's, it's kind of neat to say that I, I take an aircraft and I, and I, I uh, am the last person to sign off on the functionality of the aircraft before it takes off. Uh, and, and to be able to say that the, that, that student has that kind of responsibility uh, when they leave here, uh, they'll, they'll enter uh, aviation and they'll actually you know, continue their training and education on the job training and then they can continue and get their associate's degree and maybe someday their bachelor's degree. Um, but it all starts with that A&P certification. It's a, great, it's a great opportunity. The jobs are in demand. Right now, trades are a huge thing. You're gonna end up spending money, less money, to make more money in the end and uh, you're always gonna have work so I would highly recommend it. You can read the story behind the video in the mid-July issue of the Business Journal. Click the subscribe tab to order your copy today.